What's up guys, it's Andrew from Iron Trap Garage and today is finally the day we're going to make my car a complete roller. I had got my spring this week and it's a reverse side 33 and a half inch wide leaf spring and I got it ordered and it's here so we're going to mount it up on the axle, we're going to mount some wishbones in it and finally make my car look more like a car today. All right guys, so I'm in my home office. I'm editing this video right now. Go easy on Andrew. Uh, he was 100% unsupervised. Mount was off on an adventure. Uh, so he did all this himself unsupervised. There's a couple mistakes made. Uh, go easy if you leave any comments. All these mistakes were then corrected. You'll see it later in the video. Just wanted to put a disclaimer so Andrew doesn't get totally torn apart. Remember, he is just 16, he's learning. Enjoy the video, comment down below, give him some motivation. Thanks for watching guys. Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the leaves apart for the spring, because we're only going to be mounting the main leaf today because there's no motor in the car yet, there's no weight on it, so to get it kind of sitting and just looking how we want for right now, I'm just going to be putting the main leaf in, so I'm going to split the spring apart and then we'll get it mounted up on the axle. So we got the spring split apart, got the main leaf separated. So what we need now is, we have the spring perches and all the shackles and everything, but I need to grab some wishbones to mount up so when we put the axle under it, it doesn't want to twist back and forth. So if you guys want to follow me over here, we'll go dig for some wishbones. Let's see what we got. the other one. Alright, so since we're making hairpin wishbones for this car, we have this set of cut off wishbones so that eventually I can make a plate, make a bracket, and build the wishbones for the car. So we're going to use these just for the mock up.
You ready? guys so finally after a long wait the car sitting on four wheels I'm really stoked I am uh, envisioning all these pictures in my head of me driving the car and stuff right you know daydreaming but I'm really happy um, the spring fit nice everything it sits good I'm really happy it's making me go insane thinking about end products of the car but so next we're gonna start getting the motor in making motor mounts trans mounts and it's gonna start moving along pretty quick. So that's it for this one, guys. Catch you later. All right, so I got home and this morning looked at Andrew's uh, axle set up and what was wrong? It was backwards <laughs> again. That's all right. So Andrew was, again, I was out on a little adventure, uh, a little picking adventure and uh, I wasn't able to kind of coach Andrew and he uh, he just threw it together and didn't realize that it was it was backwards. I walked in and said, "Oh, the steering's wrong." So we swapped everything around and we actually put the helper springs back in because we're going to be putting that Y block in. And how do you think? Of, what do you think of the stance now? I think it could drop a little bit, but I'm I definitely like it and I definitely want to drive it. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now that we got that spring in there, we can we can start mocking up an engine and. Uh, See how it's gonna sit with that that cool engine in it. So, yeah. lesson learned: you won't you won't do that backwards again. I'll never weld the rear backwards, and I will never put front suspension in backwards <laughs> ever again. That's for hot sure. rod life lessons. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, looks cool. All set up. Mm -hmm. 